man so with the slam box the slam box be slamming this slam box this truck could be yours man if you have not entered already you are letting a chance slip you by. No matter what, you're gonna get something good. You're gonna get that premium leather key tag, which the photo is uploaded now. I know before it was just pre-orders, but now the actual key tag is there. So not only are you getting a really cool key tag, you are also getting the opportunity to win this truck and the guarantee that you are going to be supporting me personally. And I thank you very much for everybody who's ordered one already. So what we got going on today, this whole back area, we need to make a bed for this because right now you can see everything gets opened. It's not as functional as it could be obviously we need to put a bed back there so let's make that happen if you did not know how that is going to look so let me give you a little hint you see these burnt cabinets that burnt wood looks real nice and now you're watching the extra special october porta potty that can only be known as spooky dookie channel of youtube welcome to bodie vision Hey, so what is up and welcome and thank you so much for joining me yet again on another video. So with this bed back here, there's a couple different options, a couple different directions that we could go and we have to consider some factors. Number one, I want this to be relatively inexpensive because we're all on a budget, right? So I'm obviously not going to buy a really high-end kit that you could buy. You could buy something with nice chrome slats with no hardware. Everything looks perfectly smooth. That's the best option if you have an unlimited budget, but we do not have that. So we have to consider that and also I want it to match the style I want it to kind of match the shop and this truck used to actually have burnt wood sides on the back so this is going to be kind of an homage to the old style that was with the truck so the first thing that we got to do is I want to lay out some of this wood kind of try to get some of it together this is a super simple design right we just have a rectangle we got like four feet by eight feet but a little bit more so a full sheet of plywood could fit in there we don't have to cut anything out for wheel tubs or do anything crazy so this should should be relatively simple. As you can see, we have the boards in here. Everything's looking good. This one had to be thinned out just a little bit and then we came back with our router to match the rounded edge of the rest of the boards. And now the next step before we actually put it together, I wanna to take out the boards and I want to burn them individually. So the idea is they are going to get burnt but I want them to be a little bit darker, a little bit lighter so that way when you look in the bed, you definitely see some differences. If I were to burn them all together, it would just kind of get a little bit lost or they would blend in too much. I actually want them to look different because I think that's going to look a lot nicer. So I got my little propane torch. I'm going to pull the truck forward, pull out all the boards, burn the boards, then we'll focus on how exactly we are going to assemble this to make it look real nice. Another way that you could do it is you can have slats in between each board, but those slats can get really expensive. I've seen them up to $100 per slat. So I'm not gonna spend $800, $900 on something like this when you can just put it together and make it look just as good. So let's get these burnt, pull out the truck. I'll just do that now here. So just like that, we are good to go. Let's get these boards pulled out. And then, we'll, uh, woo. nice and tight fit. That's what we like. So let's get these boards burnt. Then we will get it assembled and then go for it. Man, I have seen this a lot of times. I've seen it stained, I've seen them beat up, I've seen them all kinds of different ways, but I've never actually seen anyone burn them and then put them back. I think it is going to look really nice. Just like the cabinets.
All right, so at this point we have it fully assembled and it is one unit and you will not see any kinds of hardware or any trim from the top. It is just going to look nice, smooth, and clean. Obviously, after the fact, we're going to come back with some type of a spar varnish or linseed oil just to make it look nice and shiny. So everything is looking pretty good. We also got our slats lined up on our supports right here so it's not going to be bouncy at all. And then we are going to tie it down in all four corners. And that'll definitely be plenty to hold it in here. It's honestly kind of pinched in here anyway. So I guess it's gonna go in for the last time and then we will figure out the fit and finish. And this thing looks really good, man. How good, how good does the burnt wood look? Man, dude, how good does this thing look? Now, if you didn't understand the entire process and everything that was going on, so we assembled it in the bed upside down and then we had some two by fours going across. Those two by fours landed on some supports because I measured exactly where they needed to be from the front and the back and as I was building everything, I knew in my head that I eventually wanted to put a bed in here just like this. So as it was upside down, we just ran a bunch of deck screws, all really inexpensive stuff. Come on, man. So that's how that went. That's how this looks. Everything looks really good. I can now get the pine needles off my roof and that's the entire reason why this thing was built. Now we actually have a problem that needs to be addressed. So when I actually bought the Lincoln Town Car, the donor for this entire truck, since this was a body swap, if you did not watch the entire series, I don't know where you're at and not knowing what's going on. So when it got into the front end collision, the radiator got tweaked a little bit and I actually found out after the first drive video when I came back there was coolant under the truck and that's one of the reasons why I'm waiting on the giveaway. I want to make sure whoever wins this truck actually gets a nice truck. So that's just an example of why I'm waiting because I want to find all of the issues. So unfortunately I have to replace the radiator but in reality I just ordered one 2000 Lincoln Town Car. It was about $100. Should be here today. So I'm going to go ahead and get this one ripped out. By the time this one's ripped out hopefully the new one will be here and I can get the new one slapped in and we'll be all good and then I can actually start to drive and enjoy this thing again dude ice cold AC automatic 1968 truck what a great combo Overall, feeling really accomplished. We got the bed knocked out, the brand new radiator in here. I just took it for a drive around the block. I wanted to go a couple times, stopping and checking. I don't know why I'm looking under now, like I didn't just air it out. But I was stopping and checking to make sure that no water, well, coolant or anything was leaking underneath the car. There was no water besides the ice cold, super crispy AC in this truck. If you win this truck, man, and you're in Florida or anywhere that it's hot, you are going to be good to go. So what can we look forward to coming up? Right here, I have a Link, brand new, super nice, 
step notches, four links set up on a new truck, new project is going to be starting really soon. And if you recognize and understand what some of this stuff is and what I do, I'm sure you can guess the direction of that new project. So make sure you subscribe to be up to date with that like this video and comment and i will see you on the next one please do not forget to enter limited spots left i'll see you on the next one i'm out